Stephen King's epic eight-book saga, The Dark Tower, has finally been made into a film. The Dark Tower is finally hitting theaters. We're talking about it on a Thursday morning before a Friday opening, which yeah. is not always a great sign. Well, in fact, it's legitimately always a terrible right. sign. Studio Sony decided not to show this film to film critics until the day before the film opens. Usually a giant red flag that the studio doesn't have faith in the film. But now that it's here, after reported problems during production, critics are decidedly underwhelmed. In fact, we can basically sum up the reviewer response as... Eh. Did it live up to even being a good movie? No. This movie was really, really bad. And let me just say first that this movie is not good. It's just, it's just not, not good. It's confusing sometimes uh, throughout the plot. The plot can be a bit confusing. Um, the pacing's too fast. It's as <laughs> if they got into an editing room and it was dense and meandering. I don't know. I'm taking a guess. Yeah. And someone was like, well... If it's not going to be good, make it quick. Because this movie just da 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 da, it just rushes. It's too fast. I'm like, whoa, calm down. Take your time to tell the story. I feel like this movie probably just wanted to get right to the point. I get that, but it's not the right decision for a big epic like this is supposed to be. The one word that I would describe the Dark Tower as is thin. It sure flew by, didn't it? It sure flew by, and that's yeah. what I want to say. It's like an 80s movie. We have not read the novels. Yeah. I didn't mind this movie. It's not going to win any awards, as I usually say. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not great. What do you think? I, I'm fully on board with that. It's not bad. It's not great. And it feels kind of cobbled together. Yeah. It feels put minutes. together from different pieces. There are dream sequences with scenes that you're that are very important, I think, to the background of the characters that are played as dreams that I think, like, oh, I think this was part of a bigger narrative that they had at one yeah. point. It's not that good. It's not no. a classic, right? It's not... This isn't an 80s movie that was actually made in the 80s. This is sort of just alluding to I'm that way. A homage in a way. Yeah, and I, you know, I, from what I understand, I haven't read the book series either. This is nothing like the books. Like I said, the biggest glaring issue this movie has is how short it is. The movie's just an hour and a half. That's it. Right when I saw the runtime was 95 minutes, I was like, oh no, this movie's gonna be rushed. It's gonna be like The Mummy. And that's the thing. This movie really reminded me a lot of The Mummy. So astoundingly awful that when you leave the theater, you'll likely be less mad you wasted your time than flabbergasted that something like this could A, happen, and B, be released as something that theoretically is going to launch a multi-platform franchise. God, but this movie is not good. Like, all the acting is awful, except for Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey. In, in the little kid, the kid, he's not really a little kid, the kid, he's pretty good. But I don't think that anyone who is steeped in the lore of the Dark Tower would really like this movie. <sighs> it's so disappointing and it's so disheartening because loving the source material as much as I do, I really wanted this movie to be even okay. And it wasn't even okay. It wasn't even not good. It was really bad. It just felt incomplete. I mean, the Dark Tower is only in like two scenes. That's where I was expecting the final battle to happen, and it didn't. You can just tell that this was a movie made just to get out for its release date and nothing else. So for the Dark Tower, I will say, Wait until you can watch this movie on Netflix. Fuck this movie.